my name is Steve Gore. I'm the author of Final Target. I'm slowly making the transition from private investigator to full-time writer, and that's why I'm not showing you my face here. An investigator needs to be able to show up places and not be recognized too soon or by the wrong people. Final Target, it's a story about security fraud, it's about arms trafficking, and for Graham Gage, my protagonist, a private investigator, the story begins when he gets a call early in the morning that his best friend, an international lawyer, has been shot. Final Target is not autobiographical, but they tell us to write what we know, and that's what I know. I think if the reader feels a kind of authenticity in him, it's because I put him in places and situations that are familiar. You know, what it's like to land in a foreign capital and need to work your way around. Walking the streets of Kiev in some bitter winter night. What it's like to go to southern India or Pakistan and sweat. What it's like to deal with money launderers or to walk into a restaurant and sit down in that booth and talk to some gangster and hope this guy doesn't want to use my body to send a message to my client. I just don't want to tell a story. A happens and B happens. I want readers to be able to understand what's happening and experience what's happening through a character who understands those things because I've understood them first. Real investigations don't begin with a private investigator knocking on a door. They begin with analyzing money trails through flow charts, how a crime was committed, how money moved from company to company, from account to account, to the extent that sometimes tracing money is like dealing with one of those Russian dolls. The thrill, ultimately, is solving a puzzle. And the challenge for writers, how do you show this to a reader? I think Final Target resonates with readers because it's ultimately about loyalty and the limits of loyalty, following the fact regardless of the consequences, and tragedy.